Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G15 laptop. The exact model for this one is a Dell G15 5511 series. And if you, for this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery internally. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or it's just discharging really quickly from 90 to 60 or whatever, it's just bouncing around, then you might wanna replace your battery. And also remember, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you, tell you guys a really nice, uh, important advice about installing the new battery after installing. There's a proper way of doing it, I'll leave that and I'll explain that in a second after we uh, do the demonstration here. All right, just remember by changing the battery, you're not gonna change any configuration or anything. Just make sure your laptop is completely off. Then what you wanna do, you wanna close it down, flip it upside down, and we're gonna work on the bottom side of the laptop here. I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is an iFixit screwdriver set. If you get a simple set, they will include you the screwdriver and few bits. And we're gonna use a Phillips number zero from this tool set. The bit number zero. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right. Now, down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There are some screws that you can remove and there are some that you can't. So let's go over the screws that you can remove. Those are the ones in the back corner by the rubber legs. So we're gonna remove these two screws and we are gonna remove the two screws in the middle front end of the laptop. All these four screws that we're gonna remove, they are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you wanna support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right. Now that we removed these screws, uh, let's talk about the other screws. These other screws, they have a four of them. These four screws, they have a little something called a C-lock on the other side. What the C-lock it does, it will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So what you want to do, you want to twist it until you hear a click sound. And um, what the C-lock is, the second job of the C-lock is to push the cover away from the palm rest so it makes it easy for you to open up or separate them. So as soon as I rotate this one, you're gonna hear, see a separation right there. You see that separation? That's what you want. There you go, do this, all of them, all four of them. And if your case, mine it just came out, but sometimes they do get really tough to come. So if it doesn't come out, just grab it from in there, stick the guitar pick in there, let's say that I hold it. You wanna twist it really hard like this, and then you hear, you're gonna hear some click sound, that's what you wanna hear, you wanna twist it, and then you release those clips. Once those clips are released, let's put back this one the way it's supposed to be. Once those clips are released, you wanna grab it from the front corners here, and you wanna wiggle it around, it's gonna make more clicking sounds on the side. You wanna bring it up in 45 degree, and you wanna pull it towards yourself. The reason is because at the back end, there's a tiny hinges. These tiny hinges, they scoop right under the back plastic right there. So you want to bring it towards yourself. Don't lift it up on the back side, otherwise it's not going to come out or it's going to damage the plastic. All right, once we remove the cover, we're going to get access to the battery right over here. And the battery is right in here. It says 56 watt hour, 11.4 volt. The battery type is an 8FCTC. I'll try to get the link for this battery. I'll leave it in the video description so you guys can purchase yours. But if you wanna buy it directly from Dell, you can buy it by the part number that it will come right on here. There's another part number, big, it's a really long number. You can just search on a Dell website by the part number. All right, to remove it, simply first you wanna disconnect the connector right in here. So you wanna uh, remove this gaffer tapes, whatever in here. You want to pull the cable towards the battery. You slide it back, don't lift it up, you slide it back, and the connector is going to come loose. Next, we're going to remove the screw right in here, the screw right there, there, and there. So there's one, two, three, four screws that we're going to remove. So I start from one corner and remove the four screws. These are chrome head screws. All right, once you remove the screws, 
you want to grab the battery from here and you want to scoop it from underneath here so scoop it bring it like this and there you have it this is a one two three cell battery and once you get the new battery they don't come with this cable so let's remove this gaffer tapes over here and the jack just came out loose so this jack goes in it snaps in place so you just push down from top side so let's remove this gaffer tape so you guys can see it so it comes like this so you want to grab the new battery grab this cable and align it right on top and then push it down and put the gaffer tape right over you want to bring this cable right the way it was just like that and you want to bring it down slide the back end towards the front end of the laptop and then set it down and then you want to put the four screws first before you're connecting it all right once you uh, make sure that once you put the screws in now you want to grab the connector and you want to put it straight towards the connector don't put it sideways make sure it goes in straight in and then you just want to pinch it in nicely all the way inside. Bring it down, put some gaffer tape. If you're not, there's nothing's going to happen. Leave it in there. Grab the bottom cover. Scoop the back side right under the back end. Bring it down, hold it, and tighten up the screws right on here. And it's going to pull the cover to itself. Do this to all. If you see any opening, you just pinch it, and it's going to go down it to its place. Now, regarding the new batteries, once you plug it, you put the new battery in, it's very, very important that you don't want to power on the laptop. You want to leave it in the off mode and you want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours without turning it on. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected and you want to discharge it slowly, the slowest way possible by putting brightness down to 50 or 20%. So let the battery drain down to 30, 20% slowly. And after that, you want to power it off and leave it charging again for two, five to six, seven hours. After that, you can just turn it on the way you want, charge it whenever you want, the way you want to use it. That initial charge and discharge is really crucial for new batteries. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.